Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Martial Arts, I am your sensei, and I'm here with C-Sharp, and we have a treat for you this time because we are playing a very obscure game, I think, to safely say, a very obscure fighting game called War of the Monsters. So we're about to see an intro cutscene, so we'll stop talking so you can see it. So, what you, can, what you can gather from that, if you were not paying attention, was aliens were attacking Earth, so Earth strikes back with a new super weapon, the aliens were so-called defeated, as Earth thought, so after that, looks like some scientists started experimenting with certain creatures with the alien goo that was excreted from the UFOs, and thus, some of these aliens are actually, they kind of actually have cool backstories if you look into it. Monsters. Right. Like some of them are genetically engineered, like the, the praying mantis, and I'm assuming the King Kong. But some of them are military made, like uh, some military robots. Actually, let's get a look at, uh, let's get a look at some of these guys. First, first to two. First three. First three, I guess. Okay. So if you so if you take a look at some of these, like this this guy clearly on my screen, the player one screen, he's clearly based off of Godzilla, so he's probably here because all these other monsters are running amok. So he's here to fight them. This mantis is genetically engineered. King Kong might be genetically engineered. This robot is military made. I'm thinking this guy sort of has like some sort of ancient backstory. What's what's the uh, what's, sort of, what's uh, the guy on your character? The guy we got uh, the alien. Uh, we got this one's called Kinetic Clops, very original. He got as far as I know, his backstory is that he just fell into a radiation vat at a nuclear power plant, and that's what he became. This one was spawned from a volcano, I assume. This was developed by the Japanese, and just went rogue. Mm -hmm. And I'm not really sure about this one. It's just sort of, it's a dragon. A dragon. Uh, so, um, like, like we mentioned before, it's kind of your basic, kind of your basic fighting game, but as you can see, it's with gigantic monsters in a, in a, Small scale city playground. They do robot versus robot. Uh, just this. I'm choosing this character because he's he was my favorite. Chromate. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I ch I choose that one because he's my favorite. But yeah, you can choose anyone you want. So you're going Chromate. Going Chromate. Uh, <laughs> For those who don't who don't know, you'll see. You'll find out in a minute why why I reacted so severely to Chromate. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of different arenas you can choose from. This one is kind of small, if I can remember. This one is large, this one's large. Overall, I think... This one's got a lot of obstacles that can actually hurt you. Overall, I think the level designs were some of the best yeah. and most original. If 
you, you can see Designs. all the you can see all like the build this was this one was my one of my favorites. That but you can cool. see all these buildings. All these buildings are part of your little playground, your fighting arena, which is great, and you can actually use the structures of the buildings and the cars as weapons. This one was fun because you could create a tsunami. Mm -hmm. The alien ship and the capital. Uh, let's go. The let's, yeah, let's let's kick it off here. So, um, we'll let you guys see for yourself exactly how it plays and what it looks like, rather than us try to explain it without actually showing you. This is inverted. Can I pause it? Already we see a nice little addition to, uh, to, the, to the game. When you're away from each other, it goes split screen, but when you get right up next to each other, it goes full screen to just show the absolute carnage in battle. And as, as you can see, it's, it's not your generic fighting game. You can send gigantic two-ton mop two-ton of silly understatement, but just these gigantic, monolithic monsters. You can just send them flying. Ugh! Ah, Ugh! Ah, you... You stabbed me. I... I don't know the controls, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. All I wanted to do was make it so that it wasn't inverted. That's okay. One more there. I just gotta live with it. How do you block R2 and L2? So for the last part of this, for the last part of this fight here, I'd like you to keep an eye on Chromape's health as I try and hit him. You can understand why he is so difficult. Uh, expecting that. Do it. No, hang in there, buddy. Hang in. <laughs> so, graphics wise, what would you say? On a, on a scale of one to three. Oh, goodness. <laughs> graphics? Fantastic. Compared to certain. Compared to some, I remember seeing a trailer for this game, like back on Sly, uh, the first Sly Cooper came out. And it pairs pretty well, especially, you know, around other PS2 games. I also think some of the some of the range attacks, like each you know each enemy has a range attack, so mine is like a small laser beam. But yours, you're just yelling at me, <laughs> flailing your arms. This is why Chromate is the best. Chromate. I honestly never. Oh my 
god, those trucks are extremely deadly. I never... I never got far enough to unlock Chromate, to be honest. You so, can pick up anything. The, the, the entire... The entire city is your... Is, it's your playground. It's your playground, it's your battlefield. So, like, I just found whatever this is on the top of that building, and say I wanted to pick it up. Even these helicopters. If you can grab a helicopter out of the air, then by all means, use it. Oh! Oh, by the way, if, if you're under that when the building collapses, you got which I think is kind of cool. Oh, yeah? You have to, so we can use the arena to advantage. Stop it. Come here. Oh, God! <laughs> I forgot about that. That's what I liked about this guy. Um, by the way, so that, you know, I'm not at an unfair advantage. Uh, triangle and circle is your long range special. Mm -hmm. and that's what I've been doing. Oh, uh, is that what your roar is? Yeah, that's what your roar is. Because I remember that it being something special. I was just kind of screwing around. So, and the the music is kind of generic though. But, like it's it, it it's it's repetitive, but it also has that big you know monster movie soundtrack feel to it. So. It's it's good for the game that we're working with, but it's nothing, but it's nothing spectacular. Give me health. Yeah. Oh. oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> All that work over again, and you're already about to hit. You're already about to hit the last win. All right, promise me you're not. All right, and that's. So that's what the battle. So that's what the battles look like. The, me! the controls are pretty. Are pretty simple once you learn. Once you know you get you get the hang of it. It's it's more of a game where. If you use the level to your advantage, that it allows you to stay alive longer. Highly, a highly, highly original game, mm -hmm. and definitely one of the most fun I've ever played. Considering it's a fighting game, mm -hmm. I was never big on fighting games. I mean, I played like Tekken and stuff like that when mm -hmm. I was younger. I was, I was. You were Street Fighter. I was Street Fighter, but even then, I I barely knew how to play. And. Promise me you won't use Chrome. I won't use Chrome. <laughs> this is my hometown! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, each stage kind of has its own... Its own specialty that makes it unique. unique so this, specialty. yeah, this, this one will show you exactly what it is. Chrome robot? I don't know, I'm like, I'm like a blue. It even sounds like Godzilla. So even though they, I wouldn't, I wouldn't specifically call it copyright, even though it's very close. I honestly think they just took, they took a popular monster, uh, put an original spin on it, and just like think about it as brawl. If this was, if it, this is going off brawl, brawl logic, they just brought Godzilla into the fray because a lot of people probably wanted to see him fight. But one thing I'd like to mention about this game is that it's rarer than I thought it was. Get my butt kicked. Like, did you notice that? What? This game is very rare and expensive. Oh yeah, I have noticed that. Like, I honestly thought when I couldn't find it originally and I didn't know that you had it, I looked online for it, and it was... I thought it wasn't going to be that much. It was expensive. Alright, so where's the... Why am I not... 
is the thing. I guess this map is kind of a little small compared to the others. I'm, I'm I'm skewered. I've been skewered. Godzilla's down. For one. Oh, oh that was that, that was one of the funnest things for me, just impaling people with antennas. But even though there's you know you could, there's screaming people around that honestly if you run over them you step on them, but we're not exactly here killing the people, we're here killing the other monsters that have just shown up. What was that? And oh god! And they made a, uh, I'm stuck! They made a, uh, they made a good excuse of why there's you know why we have why we have these boundaries. That's up. It's about to get wet around here. <laughs> Sorry, Godzilla. Um, oh goodness. It makes a good excuse why there's why the boundaries are created in this area. It's because of the immense human technology to try and beat the alien. Hey! What is this? What is this? Oh! Who threw that? I got crushed. <laughs> so if you were watching Cameron's screen, you can rewind if you didn't see it. Like I mentioned before, buildings that are falling will end up killing you. And Magma over here, he's used a... He's used a steel... Uh, what do you call that? What do you mean? The, the steel supports. He's, he took a steel support from the building and used it as a bludgeoning weapon. Oh. Yeah, it's just... Stop it! Stop it! Oh! It's very, very addicting. You I know it's find yourself not wanting to say much. I know it's it, we're not really talking a lot in this episode, like how we were talking more in the Sledstorm episode, if you've seen that. But it, it's just because one, it's a fighting game. You kind of have to concentrate on a, on, on your fighting game. But it's also just it's pretty much self-explanatory. Just looking at it, I'm taking you with me. Do. That happens. Uh, take it out. Take it out of the, take it out of the thing. Well, let's put it down. I don't know why I couldn't do anything. Oh, I wasn't expecting that fourth hit. Basically, if, if we were to give any last comments about this is... If you haven't heard of it, here it is. Um, and if, if you can find it and play it, I highly recommend you play it. It's a lot of fun. It's not, it's not a fighting game you find very often. It's definitely worth your time. And, uh... We'll finish up this battle as quick as uh, as quick as we can. I know we set it for. Oh. We set it for six wins because that's I honestly thought 
so you get wins a lot quicker. But we'll what is the close range again? Uh, square next. Square next? Yeah. But uh, we'll finish up this last fight, and then we'll have one more thing to show you. Me and Godzilla are taking a bath. Wait, what happened? You won? Won. When did you get that many kills? <laughs> I'm good. <coughs> Not really. Well, all right. Build level. I think you can actually like press the pause. Like if if the stage does get like just completely wrecked and you want more to fight with, you can re you can pause it and then rebuild the level without losing your wins, which mm -hmm. I which I think was cool. Like you could completely destroy the city and still not have enough to beat the game. You, you could literally level the city, you, you which could, was, I thought was cool. Right, you could rebuild it up again and then fight fight all over again. So that's the fighting. Um, that's the gameplay. But there's one more part of the game that we want to show for you, and that's the mini game section. Oh there was there was one mini game that we just thought dodgeball. It was for dodgeball. Was it a big <laughs> shot. I think it's Big uh, Shot. Yeah. There was one mini game that we just thought was the funniest thing and the funnest and the funnest thing to do in this game. So uh, we'll do it here and see see what comes comes from it. Oh, wait. Can he jump that high or far? I don't even remember how to do it. <laughs> I don't either. We'll find out. So I guess it's gonna be a first for you guys and a first for us. So <laughs> look at me. I look like. Uh, I look like a hot tamale. I look, uh, definitely look more Japanese now. So... Is it double tap? I guess not! <laughs> <laughs> so the point of the game is... Alright, so yeah, that's something new. You double tap to dash. So the point of the game is to try and get, his, try and get some speed up and try and jump farther than your opponent. No, there's something. There's no, something no, there. that's it. You, no, that's not it, because there's something. Oh, that's how. Yeah, you, you double tap forward. No, that's... Ooh. Yes. No, because this is double tapping forward. Yeah, Hold on. Do the this analog. Is, this is double tapping forward. Watch. This is... That. Then what was that? Pro holding triangle while doing it. I'm glad that <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm glad they you know I'm glad they told you before playing this mini game. All right, so and then they changed the distances, so yeah. you gotta you gotta judge. I don't know. You gotta do no. You gotta do triangle. triangle. You were too close. You didn't need a triangle. You could get it just by doing the regular double tap. See, that's too much. <laughs> Oops. It's like you did this to me. <laughs> Isn't, did you get bonus points if you hit the thing? Okay, you yeah. Too no. much. <laughs> uh, all right. Come on, you you can make it. You can make that. We've had enough practice. You got this. Ah! No. <laughs> so Why? I thought. <laughs> uh, hey! Oh God! <laughs> Uh, wait, I threw you. Chromic? No! Alright, here we go. I'm gonna hit that, that UFO there. Nope. No! Too late. Too late. And he goes. Oh, too late. Too late. Too late. Oh, why are you second me? <laughs> Alright, I get that. Right, this, this is the one. <laughs> I'm gonna hit that thing. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit that UFO. You'll rinse. Ah! <laughs> the, re the repo man was coming for that. What are you trying to do there? I nope. thought that it was closer. <laughs> He's gonna make it. Ew. 
So clearly we're gonna have to. No 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 no! Die! Yes! That was cheap. That was cheap. We're actually we're actually gonna get some points here. So sit tight. It's really hard to judge. He's scared. He's scared. He's, he got some stage fright. Come on, come on. You got. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Hey. Oh man. I got. I can beat that. I can beat that. All right. Here we go. Here we go. That's not. Oh god. Wait, I thought you get bonus points. I <laughs> guess not. You got it! You got I, it! I still got it! Points! I mean, I fell to my death, but I got the points. Alright, so we're all tied up. His neck and. Oh, come on. No, don't end it here. It's too soon! Fights this needs more life. rounds, that's for sure. Wow. It's a fun mini game, just needs more yeah. rounds. Alright, one more. I think we're starting to get the hang of it. Mm. Moons. No. Oh. Moons. Going to the moons. It's way too early, way too late. Yeah. Way Come too on, early, no. way too late. <laughs> you can't stop yourself. I got this. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? No! Oh! Yes! Fifty points. Spinny. Fifty points. You got this? You think you can match me, bro? I think I can beat you. Let's see it, ape. Animal? Guess not. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Ninja. Ultra V wins. <laughs> Hit that UFO! Oh, fuck. Okay. Isn't there something We've been going. This? We've been going for... We've been going for about half hour now, so let's uh. Oh, hey, hey! Let's wrap this up. I think that's a good way to end it. <laughs> I just moved. Where are you going? I thought maybe I'd make it without the boost. All right, I think uh, I think we'll probably have to call it a day. He sticks the landing. Go for the farm. Oh. Slamming your face into the side of the building will conger. Congar. Congar. Congratulations, you have won. So anyway, <laughs> that's that was War of the Monsters. If we hadn't said it enough, highly recommend it. Very underrated game. I'd honestly give this a ten out of ten. This is definitely a ten out of ten. It was very enjoyable to come back to this game. So, good memories. If you can, if you can find it, buy it. It's worth your time. Uh, until then, see you in the next episode. Don't know what's gonna happen yet, but we're gonna keep making more, like we said. So, uh, see you next time. <laughs>